It is Friday, November 29th here at the West End Gun Club. It is pretty windy out right now. It's probably like 15 to 20 mile an hour gust. Came out of here on the Friday after Thanksgiving just to do a quick shooting session. And in my haste to leave the house uh, this morning when I was packing up, I forgot my backpack, which had my tools, uh, which I may or may not need for this scope. So, well, I will need eventually to set my zero stop. In any case, what you're looking at here is uh, an AR which I don't really shoot much at the range. But the upper here is an upper I haven't shot in probably six, seven, seven years or so. It's just a, uh, a home-built upper. It's got a, an Ultor Mer 1 upper receiver. It's an 18-inch white oak armament SPR barrel, one and seven twist. It's a wheel chamber. And it had a Geisley, one of their early super modular rails, which they don't make any more, but they've produced other SMRs with different variants, uh, uh, you know, uh, different types. And so this is one with the Arca, Arca rail built in. And if you look at the bottom, if you can see it all, it's basically got the really right stuff, R-lock in it. So I bought this just to replace the handguard I had on here before, um, just to, cause you know, it's an SPR, so you figure might as well, or an SPR DMR type rifle, you may as well just have an Arca plate along that. And theoretically, I could have just put an Arca plate on the bottom, like a universal on my old one, but I wanted something like this, which is already built in and has a re the really right stuff R lock on there. So it just, it's a quick swap. Just take out the old rail, put on the new one, the new handguard, because it just uses the same Geisley barrel nut. But um, I didn't, I don't even have many rounds for this thing. I have a bunch of old 77 grains that I loaded up from probably 2014, 2015. This is just like 24 grains of Reloader 15 with 77 grain uh, Nosslers, custom competitions. We'll try to get a zero, um, but in, again, I forgot my backpack, but in my haste to leave the house, I left my backpack, which has my tools. So if this is shooting higher, I won't be able to make an adjustment unless somebody here has an Allen key. So we'll go ahead and try that out. Um, and then that's pretty much it for today. And I did bring my uh, NRL Hunter rifle. And so uh, we'll do, um, just a quick uh, zero shift check, because I've been trying to do cold bore, cold barrel ch uh, checks every time I'm out the range with this gun to see where it's at. So anyway, let's go ahead and start shooting. Any chance you got hex keys or Allen keys? Coffee, son? Yeah. Hey, did you grab me a coffee? <laughs> I told him he left it at home. Wow. 
Okay, we're way to the so the wind's to the right. Oh, left, sorry. About a full mil, but I'm low. Full mil, and we're low. Headshot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head shoot it. Okay, now we're high. Did you see that nice little tight nice roof, though? Hitting, but it's very uncomfortable position here. Well, I told you last week I shot this fucker, right? I think I wonder where we're at. Wait a minute. Well, I went over to him. I've only got six rounds left, so we're just gonna shoot that. But we're hitting about we've got about uh, 1.4 mils of wind down. Right shoulder. Yeah, that's that's I don't wanna dial man. because uh, I don't want to lose my zero for the win. Ah, so I'm going to hold one point. Right shoulder, yeah. Yeah, right over the right shoulder. About a full one, what, 1.2 mils. Okay, it's but it's bracketed here. Bart, I can't see your fucking headphones off. They're going away. All right, it's less than a mil, about eight. Dust is going to my eye right now, so. All right, that's it. We're good. I snuck over to the Rimfire Ranch to record this outro because it's kind of loud up there. There's a bunch of guys shooting, and I got these condensed containers here to kind of buffet me from the wind because it's getting pretty windy out here. So 15 to 20, I was eating dirt up there. I was shooting prone, and like dirt was flying in my face. Uh, but this is the gun, again, this is my, it's an AR that I have, so this is a pre-2000, and basically, when you're, if you're in California and you bought gun ARs in, before the year 2000, you registered them assault weapons, assault weapons, which is a legal term uh, used in California. Uh, so this is registered as an AW, 
prior to 2000 or you know a purchase before 2000 so it's fully configurable i have detachable mags which i don't have my my 20s on me but detachable mags works fine you know it's normal that is how it is um it's registered to me but generally speaking most people who have a limited or finite number of ars what we end up doing is we buy a lot of uppers and so this upper is just something i cobbled together several years back again as mentioned earlier in the vlogs an ultor mer one uh white oak 18 inch spr it's a rifle length gas system one in seven wheeled chamber 223 wheeled and then um, just a standard a2 flash hider before that i put this together before like muzzle brakes were like becoming more popular i mean you could put a muzzle brake but like they were just standard ar muzzle brakes but as time has gone on in recent years there's just so many different muzzle brakes and i still stuck with an a2 flash hider um, maybe i'll put an area 419 on there I don't know. Uh, and then we put that's this new Geisley uh, Super Modular Rail. I can't even remember what the model number is. This is the Mark 18. Mark 18. The 16 and a half inch handguard. And again, it has the has the Arca rail built in with the really right stuff R lock uh, milled into the bottom of that forehand. The gun shoots pretty well. Once I got it dialed on, it's uh this is the target I end up shooting. Once I dialed it in, made adjustments here. This is where we kind of kind of slot in here. It's about a minute of angle gun. Right when I made my last adjustments, I fired for five rounds, and this is where we're at. So an inch at 100, so just a minute of angle. At 306, 307, it said 1.6 from 100 yards zero, but it was definitely shooting high. So I think I only needed a 1.1, 1.2, which I'm surprised by considering it's 223. I thought it would have been well under that, but for some reason I was hitting high into the right, um, well high for because of the elevation was wrong on the dope, but to the right because of the wind. Once I dialed it on, I figured out, I held like really like down here and I hit this and so once I figured that out, dialed my elevation down a little bit lower and I started nailing this section. Once I lowered just about a tenth of a mil and was adjusting for about eight tenths mil wind right to left, I was nailing it right around this spot. So, gun shoots pretty well. Um, all things considering, just a cobble together AR upper. And, uh, oh, and I guess as far as what I did after the fact, because the upper had no scope on it, I put my loophole Mark V HD 3 to 6 to 18 with an Area 419 mount that I just got. This is the cantilever mount, 35 millimeter diameter, 1.5 height. Area 419, I like, I'm liking their mounts. I bought their rings and I bought uh, one, another mount. So I think they're pretty good in my opinion and I might buy more, but I'm gonna take this home and get the zero stop set up. Thankfully, somebody up there had some fix it sticks on them and so I was able to make some adjustments on my scope because it was shooting uh, way high so I needed to drop it lower. I needed to get the cap off and I didn't have an Allen key or, or any kind of hex wrenches. So thankfully he had something and I was able to get that to dial underneath and then dial back up normally with my, my elevation turrets. So um, that's that. And not much shooting today, only 30 rounds or so to get this thing dialed in. I need to load more ammo and I don't have much 223 brass cleaned up. I think it's all like, ever since I stopped shooting service rifle, like my, my organization for 223 brass is just a huge mess. So I need to go ahead and go figure out what I got, start cleaning some stuff up and then maybe uh, do, a, do a batch run of like five or 500 or so rounds or 500 cases and then load some ammo for this so I can just have some 77 grain ammo ready to go. I have a bunch of 77 grain Nosslers left over from my service rifle days, which are good. I think it's a good bullet. It, I mean, it has less BC than some of the other fancier 77 grains out there, but for 200, 300 yards in service rifle, you didn't really care, right? I was easily, you know, I could easily hit, you know, clean a 10, you know, these 200 yard, 300 yard rapid strings with the 77 grain Nosslers. I do have Match Kings. I have a bunch of Match Kings still, 77 grain Match Kings. I still have maybe half a box of a thousand of 77 grain Lapua Cinars, the old school ones, before they were the Cinar Ls. And I still have maybe 500 rounds or 500 count box of 70, 75 grain Hornady boat tail hollow points. So I got a lot of 75, 77 grain mag length suitable bullets to load in this. And I'll probably just load it all up just so I have it for this upper. Um, but I'll bring this out some other time, hopefully when it's less windier. And maybe I'll take it out to Palmdale to maybe get some dope dialed in for this. And uh, that's that. 
Um, in today's conditions, I really did notice this chromatic aberration in this optic. It's pretty bad today for some odd reason. It's just hazy and like there's that fringing on the target. And I was like, wow. And shooting between my new Zico 420, which was uh, on my uh, Hunter gun. This was on my Hunter, sorry. This was on my Hunter gun. And I swapped it out for the Zico 420. I mean, I just appreciate having quality glass, like tier one, top tier glass. And the far, 5HD is a decent scope, but you can really tell that it suffers compared to something in the higher tiers. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I gotta meet somebody later after the range. Um, I'm gonna leave straight from here, head out to a meeting. So uh, that's it for this range vlog. Hopefully you got some interesting information out of this thing and found like this rifle relatively interesting as far as the stuff that I normally shoot. Uh, but that's it for today, November 29th here at the West End Gun Club. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next vlog.